my beautiful, lovely Capricorns. So let's see what's going on with your reading for this week. I'm going to start with love. Let's see with your, yeah, I, <laughs> it's so funny that this flipped out wish fulfillment because as I was meditating on your, your sign, I heard a lot of love music. So you have, you have wish fulfillment when it comes to your love life. You are starting to give birth to your dreams. To be honest, the way that I feel Capricorn, it even feels too good to be true. It feels too good to be true. So you two are going to be learning about each other. Not only that, your dream state has warned you of this. So if you are in a love situation already, just know that your love life is going to be progressing to the next level. And if you are completely single come into this reading, Capricorn, expect love to enter into your life and it feel like a breath of fresh air. So I'm just going to say it could possibly be a cancer. For some reason, my dice was on cancer. This just stuck out to me, the 69 for cancer. So you could be meeting a cancer. It could be a Taurus. It can also be a Leo. It can also be a Pisces who's going to enter in your life. And even if it's not those specific zodiac signs, they can have that in their chart. All right. I even hear wiser than the rest. Whoever this person is, they're going to be very, very wise. They're going to bring out the best in you. And whoever this person is, they're not going to sugarcoat. They're going to also think that you are the best and you are the best fit for them. They're going to be really excited to bring this information to you. So if you are used to having emotionally unavailable men in the past or emotionally unavailable women in the past who are like afraid to take leadership spirits, even saying like people who are afraid to take a lead, people who could have been intimidated by you. You could have people who are threatened by you. This is this person is not afraid at all. And they're not ashamed to tell you what they could have been through in the past. They This is a person that feels like their past made them who they are today. So they're not going to be afraid to tell you about what they've been through in the past because they feel like my past was the foundation to everything that I am right now. So this is a person who's very, very grateful for their past. Like it don't matter how bad it was. Uh, which is good because that means they don't come into your life with any like bitterness, you know, but they could have a dislike for people who are ungrateful. That's one thing that you'll know about this person. If you are ungrateful or if they had people in the past that they helped and that the people could have been very ungrateful to them, this will make them upset. Ungratefulness is what will really trigger this person. Yep. So you'll also know who this person is, is because they're going through an ending or they had an ending in their previous marriage. For some of you, they could have either been married or been in, in a long term committed relationship. And it's almost like they could have even been living together. And the person is like clearing their things from out of their house. And this person is starting back fresh all over again. So that's how you'll know who this person is. Um, they could have lost this person through death. And if it wasn't through death, to me, visually, they could have just departed from like a really toxic relationship. OK, like they felt like no matter what they would do for this woman, this man, that nothing would make them happy. And they got tired of it. They felt like this person was taking their love for granted. It's like, damn, no matter what I do, you're never happy. You're never satisfied, which can be one thing that they love about you. You can to them. They feel like you are easily happy, like you. The littlest thing that they will do for you, you're, you seem so appreciative. You know, they're not used to that. They're used to people taking their love for granted. So one thing that they're going to notice about you and love about you is the fact that you you are appreciative and you're very independent. OK, this person could have also like if they went through a divorce, they, they took a hit financially. If they had to uh, do a divorce, they could have had financial losses. But this person is working on building a firm foundation. They're also very, very hopeful. All right. Um, they're going to tell you about this. They're going to be very, very open and honest about what's going on. They're changing their careers. 
they can be going through a huge uh, <laughs> a huge career change and they're going to tell you about it you know but yep this is what you about to get baby the biggest thing is like a love like from up in the skies it's gonna be so romantic too you know and this person is you know they're gonna see marriage with you you probably will see marriage with them too but it's a potential for you two both to get i hear getting readings on each other in the beginning you both will be getting readings on this on each other which means that this person is probably into readings and if they ask you about your zodiac sign, they're going to look deep into your zodiac sign to figure out about how you love or what you love. And they're going to laugh. Like if you're a hopeless romantic or you tell them like, oh, I'm a woman. I love flowers. I love a gentleman that opens doors for me. And like if you're like a huge hopeless romantic, like your dream date can be like a picnic, you know, on the beach. They're going to find that to be so cute and funny for some reason. All right. Um. Let me see what they're going to love about you. Because to me, this person, it just seems very, very sweet and down to earth. They're going to love your hair. They're going to also touch your hair and compliment you on your hair. You know, and see, I'm still in pain from my past relationship. This person did just have an ending. You two will be like feeding each other. You both have stories for, for dear life. You hear me? You two both got stories. Um... You're, you're naturally going to feel very comfortable around each other. They feel very comforted by you, but vice versa. You also feel very comforted by them. All right. They're also going to like how rough you are. And just rough just means like to them, they feel like you are a warrior. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. They just feel like you have a warrior spirit, like you've been through a lot and you still seem like you're standing strong. They're going to love, love your laugh and find your laugh to be contagious. This person will laugh when you laugh because they find your laugh to be very, very funny. And they will just adore you. One thing I, I hear lighter, like one thing they're going to love, like they feel like the energy between you and them is lighter. Like they feel safe, like, OK, I can just relax. The more that they get to know you, the more that they get to talk to you, the more they're going to feel like, OK, I can just I can just relax. OK, yeah. So this is like a big hearts connection. That's what's coming into your life is a big, big romantic hearts connection. Some of you guys are going to be trying to with, with meditation and visions. Like I said, you could have felt this coming, honey. You could have manifested this for all I know <laughs> with meditation and visions, baby. You could have either been having dreams, visions, seeing a lot of things with like marriages and um, you could have seen like what listening you your intuition could have told you that this person was coming. If you even seen yourself like clearing out old things, getting rid of old photos of like a, of you and an ex lover in your phone that you could have still been holding on to. And all of a sudden you see yourself like wanting to get things away. Spirit says tearing each other down. You and your ex could have been tearing each other down. Like this connection was way more positive. And you will know that this connection is for you because you've been building yourself up. This is why this person is coming into your life because they're in alignment with the healing that you've been doing on yourself. So if you've been a person who's been trying to get rid of old energy, get rid of old stuff that reminds you of your old boo, and you have been trying to be kinder to yourself and meditating and praying, it's like... This is why this person is coming into your life. All right. I even hear like, I want to hold you hostage. <laughs> if you spend the day together and you guys are just talking, you guys can talk for hours. That's another way how you'll know them. You guys talk a lot and it's very, very therapeutic. Like when you guys talk to each other, it's just so therapeutic. But when, when you speak to them or when you spend quality time with them, they feel like, damn, I wish I can just hold you hostage. I can do this all day. All right. So let's see what else is coming in your life this week. I hear phone bill. Some of you guys can be trying to uh, get a new phone company because you feel like your phone bill is way too expensive. Or you could be adding another phone line. Or just something to do with a phone. All right. Yeah, the bit the biggest thing, simple love. You can be spending lots of time with your children. You could be helping your child with their like 
if anything is going on with your child and their confidence, you can be helping your child with your with their confidence. And if you notice that your child has just been down a little bit, if you notice your child has just been a little bit more uh, disconnected and and they just seem a little bit more distant from you, just know that they could be struggling with your with their confidence. And spirit is trying to tell you that um, just give your your child some encouraging words some positive affirmation in order to let your child know that no matter what whatever's going on at school whatever's going on with them that they are loved and they are handsome or they are beautiful and that they can do anything that they set their mind to it's like you have a child that's going to need some empowerment okay even some marrow marrow work with your child will be beautiful yeah it's like your child may need some extra nurturing some extra love especially if they are going through like self-esteem issues. It shows you like nurturing and empowering your child. Okay. And if this is, if you don't have any kids, well, I want to say Cameron, who's Cameron? You have a, you have a child with a letter C or does your name begin with a C? But, but, um, if you, I don't know too, like maybe your child could be teased about their weight. If they, if they, you know, you, some of you guys could be putting your child on a diet, but, um, if you don't have a child at all, this can be your inner child. Okay. What it could be is like your inner child could your, your own inner child. That, that means the little girl, the little boy inside of you is going to need extra love. All right. Extra, extra love. So this is new vitality. See, somebody around you is going to be feeling helpless and hopeless and you're going to put some life into them. And once again, if you don't have a child that's going to be feeling helpless and hopeless, this could be you, you know, like you feeling helpless and hopeless. And you have you have some truth that is coming to the forefront and you have some new energy, some positive energy that's coming into your life. And this is through you confronting your shadow. So confronting what are your fears? What are your insecurities? What's what's holding you back? If you felt like you couldn't attract the love that you want, what was holding you back. So this is like you confronting your fears and your insecurities, or once again, you helping your child confront their fears and their insecurities. And this shows love abounds. If you have a, a new lover, a new project, anything that you're pouring love into, it's because of the shadow work that you have done on yourself. I hear mission impossible. At one point you thought this was like a mission impossible, like enough. <laughs> Like, can I just find a good person? This seems like a, a mission impossible. And you're finally going to get this person. I even hear your throat chakra is going to be cleared. So if you felt like I hear medicine, throat chakra, this is a stone for your throat chakra. If you felt like you were struggling to speak up and speak your truth, you could have been holding back, not expressing yourself the way that you wanted to because you didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings. And now you're going to be speaking your truth. But I don't know, because to me, Capricorn seems so like honest, like they don't be caring. <laughs> they don't be caring. So it shows wealthy man. Some of you could be meeting a wealthy man or dating a wealthy man. Once again, the biggest thing, and you, you also have unexpected income. So if you are dating somebody new, they can also help you out financially. Um, See, and it shows marriage. Some of you could be, could be married into wealth. All right. So this this is looking really, really good. Some of you out here stay at home moms. You're going to want to work from home. You want to be a stay at home mom. You're looking for a love that's simple. You could have had an ex who was very, very superficial and they would run through the money, honey, because they always wanted to uh, impress folks. And you want a love that's way more simple than that. You're not about impressing people. You just want to make sure your kids is good if you have kids and you want to make yourself happy. All right. Let's see. Let's see really quick what's going on. Spirit says little by little, your diet is going to change. So if you are struggling with your diet, little by little, it is going to change. See, you have you have somebody coming in. I think this is going to be your lover coming in to help you. Spirit says you're going to be starving your distractions, honey. You're going to be so focused on building your legacy and not being distracted or not allowing. See, it, show, it shows activation, honey. You are being activated. This is like you awakening to like your purpose, your gifts. And this is where you're going to see the most money come out of it. See, solitude. I knew it. I felt that. You're a very private person. Some of you have multiple jobs that you're doing. Some of you have um, jobs online that you work for. Some of you could be meeting a police officer or 
you could be thinking about working with the um, justice system. This just shows that you are really good at helping people and bringing justice to people's lives. Some of you guys could be good at helping people find a house. Um, but Spirit wants you to know that whatever you're doing right now, you are on the right path and expect positive financial changes in your life. Okay, so this is good. Your money looking good and your love life is looking good. What should you be aware of since things are so perfect? <laughs> They like, come on, love wins. This is a good read and keep it that way. Hold up, hold up. Since things are so perfect, what should you be aware of? One thing that Capricorn should look out for. Let me tell you, um, choices. Be careful now that you found somebody good that people from your past don't try to come back and create obstacles in, in your life, all right? People that you disconnected from from the past trying to come back in your life now that you are back in your power, boo-boo. You already know how that goes. Look at this communication. Now that you in your power, you out here living good, feeling good, money good. And people who done left you, now they want to now they want to come back into your life. That's the only thing that you're going to have to be mindful of. People trying to come back and, and um, communicate with you. So it's the only thing you need to look out for. I'm going to do a full spread on this person. I'm just going to see if they're hiding anything. What is their intentions and the possibility of the outcome for you two on the extended as well as messages about your family, friends. You already know if you ever listen to any of my extended, you know, I go deep. I've been doing a card for your family, your friends, your children and for your job. <laughs> so I send you so much love and light Capricorn. Take care of yourself. It seems like you're doing so good. <laughs>